All right, we're in lesson number two. Um, keep in mind that everything from lesson number one uh, we're going to use in lesson number two. Everything is going to be cumulative as we move along. And I'd just like to show you that how that's going to work real quick before we actually jump into uh, um, fractions, which is going to be on this lesson. Um, now notice on the first uh, couple problems here from this particular lesson, um, the first problems are going to be uh, all from lesson number two. So one through seven, all lesson number two. As a matter of fact, look at this one. Um, right below these are number two, and that tells you that they're from lesson number two. So if you ever want to know, well, where did that come from? And what lesson did that come from? That came from lesson number two. Um, look at number, uh, let's see here, number one, no, number 12. 12 came from lesson number one. So what we did in lesson number one, we're using in lesson number two. If I flip it over, you're going to see uh, quite a few problems on the back side. Uh, eight, as a matter of fact, 18 through 30 are basically questions from lesson number, uh, lesson number one. Uh, you're also going to notice that um, in this one, I have three of them that are aligned, underlined. Now notice, in your, um, in your lesson, uh, that underline is going to be in black. It happens to be red in mine, and that's just a process of me uh, updating things as I went along this summer. But <clears throat> anything that's underlined, I'm going to do on the video. So I'm going to do an example that's similar to number 21, an example similar to number 23, an example similar to number 30, so that if you don't know how to do those, you can look at the video and they'll show you examples that'll be very, excuse me, very similar to those. Because as we go from lesson to lesson, every, the problems are going to get not drastically hard, but just a little bit harder. And if I feel that maybe the step was a little bit bigger than maybe, maybe what it can be, then I do a video and I'll kind of help you out a little bit on those. So I've got a video in 21, 23, and 30 um, for this particular lesson. So we're going to go ahead and flip it over and uh, start working through uh, lesson number two, which is all about fractions. And basically with fractions, you have to know basically three to four things right now. And these are things that you just need to have memorized. So I'm going to put up here. You need to have these memorized. Um, and so here they are. Uh, the first one you need to know is 0 divided by 2, 2 divided by 0, and 0 divided by 0. From my experience as an algebra teacher, these three guys just drive algebra students crazy, especially if they're not comfortable with fractions. And so one of these is going to be uh, 0. The answer is 0. One of these you can't do. And the other one's called uh, indeterminate. And uh, I'm going to tell you what they are and then you need to be able to commit these to memory. And they will be on the next, I don't know how many lessons, they'll be on just about every lesson here on out that I can remember. All right, anything, zero over anything is going to be zero. So if you had, um, let's say, zero over 10, that would be zero. If I had zero over negative two, that would be zero. So zero over any number, with the exception of this guy down here, the zero over zero, I'll tell you what that is in just a moment, it's zero. Don't make that tough. The f if you flip it around and we do 2 over 0, that becomes undefined. We can't, in math, divide by 0. So 3 over 0 would be undefined. Um, negative 3 over 0 would be undefined. Basically, if you see 0 on the top, the answer is 0. If you see 0 on the bottom, it's undefined. If you see 0 on the top and bottom, we call it indeterminate. I'm not too concerned that you understand what indeterminate means right now, but all I want to know, all I want you to know is that when you have 0 divided by 0, it's indeterminate. 2 divided by 0 is undefined, and 0 divided by 2 is going to be 0. Alright, got to know those three things. A couple other pieces of information. If I give you a number like 7, you need to know that 7 can be always written over 1. If I give you a number like 8, 8 can be written over 1. If I give you a number like 3, that can be negative 3 over 1. So any number that I give you can be rewritten as a fraction, and you just put it, simply put it over 1. So, so far, th four things you got to know. you got to know 0, undefined, indeterminate, and you got to be able to recognize that, that any number can be written over well, basically as a fraction. Almost any number can be written as a fraction. And you do that by just putting it over 1. 
Okay, the last thing you need to know is just a couple, um, I guess, quick eyesight type things that you got to be able to work with in terms of fractions. For example, if I do 12 over 3, you need to know that 12 over 3 is 4. Now you're thinking, I already know that 12 divided by 3 is 4. But what I really want you to know, and I got to sneeze in just a moment here, hang on. I hope you didn't hear that. I hit my mute. Um, but you also need to know that 3 divided by 12 is 1 over 4. I got to sneeze one more time. Let's do a couple more of those. Um, let's do 5 divided by 20. All right, let's do 5 over 20, and let's do 20 over 5. Notice that they're just reciprocals of each other. One is 5 over 20, and the other is 20 over 5. you got to recognize that 20 over 5 is 4. Well, if this is 4, then this is 1 fourth. Let's do another one. Let's do, um, let's do uh, 3 divided by 24, and then 24 over 3. Well, we know what this one is. 24 divided by 3 is going to be 8. And this one, then, is going to be 1 eighth. Let's do a couple more. Um, let's, do, let's do 30 divided by 10, and then 10 divided by 30. 30 divided by 10, I know that's going to be 3. So then this one's got to be 1 third. Notice, as I go through these, which one has the 1 on top and which one doesn't have the 1 on top? I'm going to kind of circle them. This one doesn't have the 1 on top. This one doesn't have the 1 on top. This one doesn't have the 1 on top. And this one doesn't have the 1 on top. All of these are like 1 over 4, 1 over 4, 1 over 8, 1 over 3. How do I know when it's 1 over 4 and not 4 over 1? How do I know it's 1 over 8 and not just plain 8 or 8 over 1? How do I know it's 3 and not 1 over 3? Look at what I've got here. Notice that the bigger number is always on top when I get these. 20 over 5, 24 over 3, 30 over 10. When, when I have the bigger number on top, it just comes out down as a plain number. If the bigger number is on bottom, it turns into a fraction. 20 is below, 24 is below the 3, 30 is below the 10. Let's try one more, knowing that rule. Let's try something like, um, let's do... 7 over 20, 28. Uh, let's make that a little more. Make that, how about 7 over 21? And then we'll flip it over. So which one's going to have the fraction and which one's going to have the number? Well, this remember this one here? This has the bigger number on top. So that's going to be the one that doesn't have the fraction. So 21 over 7 is going to be 3. So this one then must be 1 over 3. And there it is. So we're going to have a number of number of problems on the assignments that are going to help you recognize those. So you have to memorize. Let's go through them real quick. Uh, four things. I'm sorry, five things. Zero, undefined, indeterminate. Recognize that seven can be written as seven over one, and then you got to be able to recognize that three over twelve over three is four, and the reciprocal of that three over twelve is one fourth. And there's lesson number two. Okay. Now with that in mind, I will told you I was going to go through and work you through. Um, three of the problems that are going to be similar to tonight's homework. So I'll do 20, 21 right here. Uh, I'll do 23 right here. And I'll do 20, I'm sorry, 30 right here. Um, keep in mind these problems aren't going to be identical, but they'll be very, very similar in nature. And if you understand how to do it from the video, you can probably understand how to do it uh, in the problem on the homework. So uh, here it is. So here's number 21. 21 is very similar to this. So remember, we do everything inside the parentheses first. But once I get inside the parentheses, I have to make a decision. Do I add first? I'm sorry. Do I subtract first or do I multiply first? Well, the rules of operations say that you have to multiply before you subtract. So we're going to actually s multiply first. So 2 times 5 is going to be 10. And then I bring down everything else. And I think what gets people fits. Actually, this is a minus sign. I think what gets pe people problems is that... Um, they don't bring everything down correctly. They'll forget the 20. They'll forget the parentheses. you got to make sure and bring everything down as you go along. Finish everything inside the parentheses. So 10 minus 3 is 7. And then I made a mistake. How about I... S s let's change that number out. I want to get a number that's smaller than 7 because I am not showing you how to subtract when the numbers are not... Uh, when, the s when the larger number is negative. All right. Then you could do this one. 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. And there it is. 
Okay, next one, number 23. 23, I'll write one that's similar to the question in the homework that way. So it's going to be 100 um, plus, actually that's the one in the homework. Let's do something similar. Let's do 80 plus, it looks like we've got a, bra uh, a brace. And let's do, uh, let's do 10 divided by 5 minus 1. Let's do that. So here it is. We're going to do everything, start inside the parentheses, or the braces in this case. I have multiplication and subtraction, so I have to multiply first. Start from left to right. I'll leave, just bring that down. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then stay inside the, the brackets, or the braces. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. And then you can add these together. 80 plus 1 gives you 81. Okay, and the last one, number 30, let's go uh, 10 plus 4, 5 plus 3, minus 2. 5 plus 3 is going to be uh, 8. Bring it, bring down everything. There's your brace. There's your minus 2, the 4, and the 10. I have addition, I have multiplication, and I have subtraction. So I have to multiply first. So 10 plus 4 times 8 is 32. 10 times 32 is going to be 42 minus 2. And 42 minus 2 is going to be 40. And there's a problem, similar number 30. Good luck on your homework.